I am also honored to be here. And like many of you, I've been here before. I was here when we first erected this beautiful memorial. And there have been a lot of names pronounced from this spot since 15 years or so ago and now. And of course, there will be more added. And the reason is because of the hearts and souls and bravery and integrity of our law officers, our first responders, our law officers, our military. They all cut out of the same kind of cloth. And a few years ago, I was at a meeting with the general who was in charge of the recruitment for the Army in the country. And this general said to me that if were it not for quotas to spread the recruitment out around the country, he could fill the Army's quota every year from men and women from five southern states. <laughs> also, you will remember four-star General Mark Clark, World War II, who was the president of the Citadel after that, said, and I quote, there's more patriotism per square inch in South Carolina than any place on the face of the earth. Well, that spirit and those, that fighting spirit, that determination, that loyalty, that patriotism that those men were referring to are in all of our law officers. Who else runs towards danger? Who else among us? We get up in the morning and try to look nice. Some of us have more luck than others. Put on a, I put on a tie usually, a shirt. No bulletproof vest, no firearm, no badge. And I don't expect to run into danger every day. Most people don't. But our law officers are just the opposite. That's precisely what they must expect every day when they go out. Why do they do it? It is a wonder. For years to come, we will gather at this day to memorialize those who gave their lives protecting us. They did it because of the way they lived, free men and women willing to risk their lives to protect and defend our rights as Americans. Those rights eloquently described in our Declaration of Independence years ago, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And as long as this blue line holds, and may God will that it hold forever, we will be free Americans. God bless these men and women. God bless South Carolina. God bless America.